Hey, Dr. Romano, can I ask you a quick question? You get it anyway, so sure, go. <laughs> well, could you show us a good density problem? Sure, I'll show you a good density problem. Come on, have a look. A cube with edges of three centimeters has a mass of 140.4 grams. The density is accurate to plus or minus 1%, and I ask you to find the density range. Not an easy question. I'll show you how you're going to do it. What we're going to do is we've got to get the volume of the cube, which is an edge cubed. So we're going to take the edge length, which is 3, and cube it, and we get the volume is 27 centimeters cubed. Now, we're going to say the density is the mass divided by the volume. We get 5.20 grams per centimeters cubed for the density. All right, hold that out. We know the density, the 5.20, is accurate to 1%. 1% is 01. So that means that when you multiply the accuracy by the density, we're going to get 0.05 grams per centimeters cubed, plus or minus. What that means is that this number could be either plus 0.05, which means that the density could be 5.25 grams per centimeters cubed, or we subtract it from 5.20 and we get 5.15 grams per centimeters cubed. Thus, this cube would be between, this density of this cube would be between these two values of 5.25 and 5.15 grams per centimeters cubed. Very, very good question for freshman chemistry. Um, for the DAT or the OAT exam, um, should be a piece of cake if you ever see a question like that. That's the way you wreck it. All right, I will see you guys in the study group on Facebook. Good day to you.